All right, guys, we are here at the Aperture booth with Ben. You guys have kind of dropped a couple exciting things this week, uh, specifically this. Uh, why don't you give us the rundown on the Citus One and what it's all about? Sure, the, the Citus One is a single universe transceiver and wireless router all in one. It means it can send CRMX, it can also work as a CRMX receiver, and the built-in router means that you can connect your iPad to it for lighting control. Awesome. So some of the, uh, this is a lot more fleshed out with the Citus uh, Pro now. Can you tell us kind of some of the functionality that you gain with that over the original Citus? Yeah, Citus Link Pro now can send SACN and ArtNet over Wi-Fi to your lighting network. What that means is Citus Link Pro can send DMX. This means you can connect to any lighting manufacturer, not just Aperture. It also can do synchronous queuing, which means when I want all the lights to change at the same time, press the button, it all happens at the same time, which was a disadvantage with Bluetooth. Because in Bluetooth mesh, while you do have extended range, the, the signal goes from light to light to light. So with Citus Link Pro, all your lights can change at the same time. And then third, concurrent cues. That means I can make one light go from, let's say, red to blue, while another one is slowly fading from 10,000K to 2,000K. You can have different timings for different lights. Awesome. And so with something like this, this should help with reliability because you're not just relying on Bluetooth now, correct? Correct, uh -huh. yeah. With, with Bluetooth, um, you know, it really matters the distance between your control device yeah. and all of your lights. Um, but with Citus Link Pro and with the Citus One, this connects to your Citus One over Wi-Fi and then it uses CRMX technology. And CRMX is very stable and it has a quarter mile line, line of sight, about a thousand feet. So you're really able to have stability on your network, which is key when, especially when you're doing lighting cues and triggering different effects. So with this interface, it's, it's designed to be very intuitive, where you simply tap on the slider, tap on the color, and instantly change the color. Oh, I want to bring this light up, bring this light up, just simply tap on it, figure out what you, how, what you want to change. One of the other goals with this is the learning curve. We designed it to be intuitive, so you should get up and running within five minutes inside of Slink Pro. So this is the edit queue sequence interface. This is how you edit the changes between your queues. So I can just simply tap on here to change the fade time. If I wanted to change this to two seconds, that way, when the queue loads, it'll take two seconds. You can see this change to a fade icon. And then this one here, I can change this to a wait time. So the wait time means how long it will sit on this queue before it goes to the next one. So if you're doing like a chase or something and you want it to automatically advance, this is where you modify that. I could also drag and drop the queues if I want them to go into different places. Like if I go up here. Nope, that's executing right now. Give me one second. Let me turn this off. There we go. So if I go down here, now I could drag and drop these. There we go. Drag and drop these if I want to change the order. So we, we implemented a lot of intuitive touchscreen app style interfaces here to make it easier. So you have AP or station mode because you can link up to four Citus ones together to have four universes. This is currently in receiver mode, so it can be used as a CRMX receiver. And then uh, you have your battery level, the universe selection for when you're, when you're sending SACN or ArtNet. And then we have what we call our glove-friendly interface here. So not a touch screen to be easily be able to change your settings on the side of Swan. And it's got an 18 hour battery life. It's really robust. Rechargeable USB-C USB rechargeable. And it can output DMX with the port on the bottom here. The app currently is in beta, right? That's right. When do you expect it to kind of be kind of pushed out to the public? Obviously, you said yeah. you can download it currently in the right. beta. Right, so Citus so, uh, Link Pro is available now for download on uh, for iPad on the Apple Store. Okay. Um, what we're doing the next phase is we're gonna merge all of the existing functions of Citus Link into Citus Link Pro. That means Diagram Master, Illumination Handbook, um, Magic Infinity Effects, pixel, pixel Effects, they will all be part of the same ecosystem. So right now it's a separate app that is just Citus Link Pro, and we're looking for this summer to merge them together to bring it all into one uh, subscription model, you know, for a monthly fee to be able to uh, upgrade to those features. Cool. And then um, in terms of price point on this guy, the Citus One, and then obviously there's a subscription on this, will there still be a free version? Um, and what do you kind of gain with the different kind sure. of pricing models? So the Citus One is available now for purchase at Aperture.com or your uh, app or your Aperture reseller, and that is 429 US. And then Citus Link Pro, we're, we're looking at a subscription model. It'll be around uh, one universe for a small monthly fee, and then you'll get all four universes for a little bit more. Uh, but we just want to get the technology in everyone's hands and make it affordable. Yeah, well, this is really exciting. I think this was a big missing link to keep it within the Aperture ecosystem. So I think it's really exciting what you guys are doing, and uh, it'll be fun to see this roll out and for people to start using it. Excellent. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks, Ben. Thanks.